Michael Cohen, Trump's former lawyer, is sentenced to three years in prison for dirty deeds. New York Michael Cohen, President Donald Trump's former personal attorney, was sentenced to three years in prison after pleading guilty to a series of crimes, including campaign finance violations, tax evasion, and lying to Congress. Cohen, known for several years as Trump's fixer in legal and business matters, has become the first member of the president's inner circle to be sentenced to prison in a case with potential legal implications for the president. Cohen's sentencing comes after he pleaded guilty in cases with prosecutors in the Southern District of New York and with special counsel Robert Mueller's team. Before the sentence was imposed, Cohen said he took full responsibility for the crimes, for each act that I pled guilty to, the personal ones to me and those involving the President of the United States of America. My own weakness was blind loyalty to the man that caused me to choose the path of darkness, Cohen said. Time and time again, I felt it was my duty to cover up his dirty deeds. Cohen must surrender for prison on March 6. Manhattan U.S. District Court Judge William Powley walked through each of the counts against Cohen, saying each of these crimes is a serious offense against the United States. Mr. Cohen pled guilty to a veritable smorgasbord of fraudulent conduct, he said. Cohen, who once said he would take a bullet for Trump, has been cooperating with Mueller's team, which is investigating Russian interference in the 2016 U.S. presidential election, and has provided prosecutors with a potential bounty of information about the Trump campaign's contacts with the Kremlin. Cohen and Trump, the former real estate developer, once seemed a united team, as Trump expanded his business empire and his fame by licensing his famous name and starring in The Apprentice while Cohen took on Trump critics in legal combat. But their relationship ruptured this year as federal prosecutors and Mueller investigated both men. Mueller's ongoing investigation began in May 2017. The New York prosecutors executed search warrants at Cohen's office, home and hotel room last year after being referred by Mueller's team. Cohen pleaded guilty in August to campaign finance violations, tax evasion and lying to banks. The New York prosecutors say he paid hush money to former Playboy model Karen McDougal and adult film star Stormy Daniels to keep them from publicizing claims they had sexual affairs with him, potentially jeopardizing his presidential campaign. Trump has denied the women's accounts. The Manhattan prosecutors endorsed Cohen's assertion that the transactions, without required public disclosure and over campaign contribution giving limits, were made at Trump's direction implicating the president in a felony. Cohen also pleaded guilty to lying to banks about his income and assets as he sought loans, and to evading more than $1 million in federal tax payments. Separately, Cohen pleaded guilty last month to lying to the Senate and House Intelligence Committees as the panels examined allegations of Russian interference in the 2016 presidential election. Cohen admitted he lied last year when he told the panels that plans to build a potential Trump Tower in Moscow were dropped in January 2016, before the start of the Republican presidential primaries. Cohen acknowledged that the planning actually continued into June 2016. By then, Trump was the presumptive Republican presidential nominee. In a sentencing memo filed last week, Mueller's team said Cohen also provided information showing that someone claiming to have Russian ties reached out to the attorney and by extension the Trump presidential campaign as well as Trump earlier than was known publicly. The Russian national claimed the ability to help arrange synergy on a government level for the Trump Tower Moscow project, the team wrote. The contact came in or around February 2015. The unnamed person proposed a meeting between Trump and Russian President Vladimir Putin, the team wrote. The person told Cohen that such a meeting could have a phenomenal impact, not only in political but in a business dimension as well, the team wrote, because there is no bigger warranty in any project than consent of Putin. Cohen did not follow up on the invitation, the team wrote, because he had been in touch with someone else he believed had Russian government ties. Trump has repeatedly criticized Cohen since their relationship ended. He told reporters last month that his erstwhile attorney was a weak person, and accused him of providing false testimony to Mueller in the hope of getting a lighter sentence. Trump later called Cohen a liar, 
and said he should serve a full and complete sentence.